the first club, men's club in Manhattan, where you actually had to know somebody to get into it. Flamingo was famous for their morning sets. However, my sleeve sets were just a little bit longer and a little dirtier. Everybody had a different style of flamingo. Richie Rivera played the cha-cha music. Howard Merrick played the sweet female vocals. And I played the sleeves and funk. Flamingo was owned by Michael Fesco. Most of the men that came to Flamingo were professionals. They were the same men who spent their summers on Fire Island. Nobody made the mornings as down and dirty or as sweet and golden as I did, man. was the king of sleaze in New York City. Nobody came close. The usual night at Flamingo was somewhere from around 10 o'clock at night. Mm, six, maybe seven o'clock in the morning. Later in that year, they seemed to like the sleaze trip so much that they started coming later and later and staying. supposed to tell you that. <laughs> anyway, Flamingo was a very wonderful place to work. <laughs> While I was at Flamingo, I also got two gold records. One of them was for Step 2 by Sylvester. You know the song, You Make Me Feel Mighty Real. Well, that's it. the dancers. The dancers were really serious dancers. They danced all night. They loved it. They listened to the music. I played something for everyone in the place. Bittersweet songs, camp disco, R&B, anything that I wanted I could play, and it brought them in. As a DJ, I wanted to make sure that everybody who came there got exactly what they wanted. I watched everything that everyone did, every move that was made, to make sure that everybody was enjoying themselves.
dance, dance, dance. I can't tell you how excited I was. Thank <laughs> you.